Hey everyone, Nikola Stock Investors got some great news as the company sold more hydrogen fuel cell trucks for the second quarter than it was even expecting at the higher end. So I'll go through the details of that announcement and what it could mean for Nikola Stock Investors. So let's take a look. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so Nikola on July 2nd telling investors that in the second quarter, they delivered or they wholesaled 72 Class 8 hydrogen fuel cell trucks. And that was above the high end of truck sales guidance of 60 units. So far in the first half of 2024, they have wholesaled 112 hydrogen fuel cell trucks. So let's unpack this news. Firstly, they said they were going to deliver or sell 60 units. They actually sold 72. So 12 better than expected. Okay. That's one sign of good news for Nikola. The second sign of good news is the quarter over quarter sales increased, right? So for the first half, <clears throat> excuse me, they sold 112 fuel cell trucks. That means for the first quarter, they sold uh, 40. And then in the second quarter, they sold 72. So from quarter to quarter, they're also increasing. So that's great news that this fuel cell truck is gaining traction. It's actually gaining consumer demand and the company is seeing some momentum, something that they absolutely desperately need. I mean, this company has been plagued in disappointment after disappointment for year after year after year. And to finally be gaining some momentum must be a breath of fresh air to Nikola stock investors who have been waiting around for this company to actually deliver on the promises they made several, several years ago. So I can understand Nikola stock investors breathing a sigh of fresh air here as the company's stock price has been under extreme pressure over the last several years. They're finally gaining some momentum here up to $10.47 per share from lows of much below that. Of course, this follows the reverse stock split because the company's share price had fallen to such a small price that it was at risk of being delisted from stock exchanges. And so they needed to do a reverse split in order to raise the share price. But you can see here, even on a split adjusted basis, Nikola's share price is down from over $30 per share to $10 per share. And this is just in the last six months. If I was to zoom out more and go back for the last year, the split adjusted share price is down from close to $100 per share down to $10 per share. And if I was to zoom out even further to the last three years, the split adjusted share price is down from $450 per share down to $10.47 per share. A massive, massive evaporation of investor wealth. And that's why I've said earlier that they were desperate to show some kind of momentum, some kind of improvement to relieve some of these investors that have lost so much money on Nikola stock. Finally, they're gaining some momentum. It's still very, very early. So investors, please don't get ahead of yourselves with this company. They need to earn your trust before you put money into this stock. Now, I don't want to make you feel that I'm going against this company, but I've just looked at the financial performance and the results of the company and the recalls and the several other difficulties. And that's why I've told investors to stay away from this stock. That's why I've had this stock rated as a sell for so many years now is because I was trying to protect investors from these massive losses that you see here. Based on the financial performance, I've told investors that this is extremely risky and a very low likelihood that they will improve your wealth over the long run. But this recent news is very good news for Nikola stock investors. Finally, some very good news for Nikola stock investors as the hydrogen powered fuel cell elect electric vehicle that has the max range of 500 miles and a refuel time of just 20 minutes or less is a huge improvement from the battery electric that they were selling before. Now they're still trying to sell the battery electric, but that's not gaining 
as much traction as the fuel cell because this is more convenient for owners and operators based on these characteristics, right? The refuel time of battery electric is so much more inconvenient and so much longer that it makes it very, very difficult to operate in everyday situations. For very few use cases, it might be beneficial, but for everyday use for large fleet operators like Walmart, which was one of their customers, right, for the fuel cell electric version, it would be difficult to do battery electric for a huge operator like Walmart. All right, so in its latest quarter, which ended March 31st, the company produced 43 trucks and shipped 40 of them. They generated revenue of about $7.5 million, which was down from revenue of $10.6 million in the same quarter the prior year. And the gross profit worsened almost by triple to a loss of $57 million from a loss of $22 million. The net loss on the bottom line, however, did improve to a net loss of $147 million from a net loss of $169 million in the same quarter the prior year. So this company, like I mentioned earlier, desperately needs improvement. These losses are massive compared to the revenue they are generating. So they desperately need to boost revenue in this business and control costs to give themselves enough runway where they gain enough customer traction where the business can be self-sustaining. I think if they provide more evidence that they can get this business on sustainable footing without continuously going back to investors and diluting shareholders by selling more stock, then investors can get more confidence about this business because they can put themselves on self-sustainable footing. They don't need to go back to investors. They can say, look, it might take some time, but we have time now because we're not losing so much money on the bottom line that we can take an extra two years if we need to, to get this right and to put ourselves in a position where we can continuously grow and expand and exponentially increase. But right now, they're not there yet. Right now, they're losing way too much money compared to the revenue that they're generating. So that's why I said this latest news is great because they go from producing and selling around 40 all the way up to 70. So that's a that's almost double. Now imagine they continue at that rate from 70 to 100, from 100 to 120. Then they can get even closer to getting themselves here into a sustainable footing. It's a long way away. So investors need very much patience with this company if they want to hold this longer term. It's a risky investment. Understand that if you're going in, it's an extremely risky investment. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.